Praise the Lord. Uh, we thank him for this day. It's another week. This should be the second week of this month. Or this, is it the second week? Uh, something like that. I think. Uh, we thank God for the opportunity to worship and to praise him. Amen. I still feel the impact of Kesha. Amen. Uh, in Kesha, we, we really enjoyed prayer. When we pray for hours, when we pray for hours, I'm saying hours, that is one of the things that we, we had in in yes conference. Hours. People praying for six hours, seven hours. They are speaking in tongues. Amen. We are going to move to that level in the name of Jesus. We are looking at uh, excellence. We are going to look at some few things about it today. So that we excel more this year. Amen. Pastor Rogers wrote a book and he said, you are born to excel. Amen. Can you say, I am born to excel? Yeah, we will excel this year. Every day of this year, we are going to a different level of glory in Jesus' name. Our anchor verse, as somebody says, is ex, uh, Daniel chapter 6 verse 1 to 3. Uh, I think it's very, let's just read it. <clears throat> it pleased Darius to set over the kingdom a hundred and twenty princes which will be over the whole kingdom. Hundred and twenty princes. These are like governors. If we are talking about Kenya, we are talking about 47 governors. This guy had 120 governors. The Bible says in verse 2, and over these three presidents of whom Daniel was first and the princess might give accounts unto them and the king should have no damage. Uh, three Presidents are overseeing the 120 princes or governors. Of the three presidents, the Bible says Daniel is the first. The word first here means excellence or is excellent. He is, he is the best of the three. He is the best of the of the tree and then he says in verse 3 uh, then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him and the king thought to set him over the whole realm the Bible says and this Daniel so if you want to understand this Daniel, you need to read the, the first five chapters. What kind of man he is. What kind of man Daniel was. He says, and this Daniel. In chapter one we read about his excellence in knowledge. We read about his excellence in knowledge, understanding and wisdom. And his ability you know when they were young, the one they were, they were, they chose them, the four of them, the specific criteria they followed, and they landed on these four people. The Bible says, let's just look at it, because some of us were not there when we were talking about it. Uh, Daniel chapter 1. In verse 3, the Bible says, And the king spake unto Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuch, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel, and of the king's seed, and of the princess, 
That's specific. When they're interviewing those people, they're looking for king's seed. Them that are royalty. And then number two, children on whom was no blemish. They are talking about physical fitness. Their body is intact. Well, they are not lame. They are not blind. They are not deaf. But well favored. And skillful in wisdom. Cunning in knowledge. In understanding science. Look at that. Three things. Wisdom, knowledge and understanding. And as and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace. He says stand, but the other one says to serve. Them that can serve in the king's palace are not ignorant people. They are people full of knowledge, understanding and wisdom. King does not bring anybody to serve him. These are people who are also physically fit, Mentally, mentally stable, are they mentally stable? Or intellectually sound, them that can easily process information, they're talking about cunning in knowledge. In other words, they can understand any kind of information that they are taught, whether it's English, geography, uh -huh. physics. Chemistry, commerce, or business. Any kind of information. When they talk about cunning in knowledge, it talks about ability to understand. Not to get E in one and A in another. No. To have balanced huh? information in all areas of life. Their, 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 their intellect is sharp enough to catch anything that they are taught. Hmm? They don't float. You know floating? There's some subjects when you, you are taught, you only pray for the grace. If you knew this. Did you understand? Yes, but you know. <laughs> it left you somewhere. <laughs> no, not such kind of people. They are excellent also in knowledge. And then they have ability to work in the king's palace. And then the Bible says, whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. So they are also in a foreign land. It's like, for example, you are taken to Ethiopia. And you are taken into their system of education. And you must learn their language. So these people must be big enough to even learn some, some other people's language. You know, many a times we have taught that uh, the church is for ignorant people. It's not. Now, look at the kind of people for that this man is choosing to serve him. And also God chose Daniel and the, three, the same three people. That's why even today, in the church, we want people who see and understand easily any information put to them. Not them that struggle to understand some things. Because if you cannot understand, how will you lead the people that understand? And then in verse 18. Now at the end, now they were to be trained for three years. Verse 18 says, Now at the end of the days that the king had said he should bring them in, then the prince of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. And the king communed with them. And among them all, were, all was found none like Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach. Therefore stood they before the king. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding, that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians, astrologers that were in all his realm. Ten times. Excellence is ten times better. <laughs> ten times.
times better than the people in the environment. You are far above the standards that is already set in the earth. You will, you will rise above the human spirit. Now this thing was in them when they were youth. This excellent spirit. Because if when they were young, they were performing to their best. And then he maintained the same habit. Now you realize that now excellence is not really something like uh, it's not an event. Can I use that word? Something that you explain today more for It's something that you cultivate all the days of your life. He was the best when he was at his youth group. Now, at this point, when he's the president and he's second in charge after the king, he must be very old. And it's still even at that level, what does the Bible say? The Bible still tells us. You can still read that, chapter 6. Verse 2. And over these three presidents of whom Daniel was first, that the princess might give accounts unto them, and the king should not should have no Daniel. Then it says, Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes of the one twenty governors and the three presidents. Daniel is one of them. The Bible says, Daniel is the best of all. These are leaders. These are, can I say, national leaders. These are national leaders who are the top. But Daniel is above them all. So there's high chances that Daniel is even excellent more than the king himself. He's above that's why, you know, we cannot afford to not know. Not knowing make you mediocre. You will not fully do what is expected of you if you do not know all. I'm saying you will not do all that is expected of you if you don't have enough and sufficient knowledge. Chapter number 2, we read about him. Chapter number 4, we read about him. Look at chapter 5, verse 25. The Bible says, Let me read verse. Look at this description in verse 11. There is a man in thy kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy God. Somebody is telling the king. And in the days of thy father, light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods were found in him, whom the king Nebuchadnezzar, thy father, the king, I say thy father, made master of the magicians, astrologers, Chaldeans, and soothsayers. For as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding, interpreting of dreams and showing of hard sentences and dissolving of doubts were found in the same Daniel whom the king named Beth Telshazzar. Now let Daniel be called and they will show the interpretation. Hmm? So this is, he served the first king. This is the second king. It is being told, in the first government of your father, he was so resourceful. And I think, I still believe, he can still be resourceful even to you. Daniel is being told. Was this king not aware 
when his father was leading, Daniel was influential. Might be, didn't know, we don't know. He was a child, I'm assuming. But now, stroll. The same thing, you see. I want to look at the place of knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. The place of knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Uh, if you read the book of Proverbs, it talks about those three things knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. All of this come from where? All of this come from above. The Bible talks about the wisdom of this world. In First Corinthians chapter 9. And even chapter 1. It says, the wisdom of this world is foolishness. This man chose to maintain his fellowship or intimacy with God. All the days of his life. He was excellent in everything or that he does in his life. Excellent. And I think his excellence began from his relationship with God. That's where his excellence began. From his relationship with These high chances of you being a mediocre if your relationship with God is so weak. Look at chapter number one. Daniel, we just study. Now you might be wondering where I'm heading. Now I'm talking about excellence in your spiritual life. Excellence in your spiritual life. That will also affect these are the kind these are the lives. The work that you do. Like for Daniel now, what they are reporting to us here is in the area of his work. How he's so excellent. But you know it began somewhere. When he was in his youthhood, he began somewhere. Verse 5 says, chapter 1 of Daniel, And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat, and of the wine which he drank, so nourishing them three years, that at the end thereof they might stand before the king. Now among this, verse 6 is there, 7 is there, uh, verse 5 is telling us what they were given. All the food they are to eat. Baba says in verse 8. But Daniel purposed in his heart. That he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat. Nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs. That he might not defile himself. Now God had brought Daniel into favor. And turned love with the prince of the eunuchs. The prince of the eunuchs said unto Daniel, I fear my lord, the lord, the king, who has appointed your meat and your drink. For why should he see your faces worse, like king, than the small, than the children which are of your sort? Then shall you make me endanger my head to the king. Then say Daniel to Melza, whom the prince of the eunuchs had set over Daniel as Ready, prove thy servants, I beseech thee, ten days, and let them give us pearls to eat and water to drink. Then let our countenance be looked upon before thee, and the countenance of the children that ate of the portion of the king's meat. And as thou seest, deal with thy servants. So he consented to them in this matter, and proved them ten days. And at the end of ten days, their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. A spiritual person has much understanding than the kind of person. He's telling, you see, 
Uh, you cannot be when you don't even know what can make your body better. Make your body better. The king must must might have his own me menus for these people that keep them fit physically. But a spiritual man has higher understanding, better understanding of what can make his body fit than a kind of man. The understanding, the wisdom, the knowledge we are talking about is the knowledge to live by Jesus said man shall not live by bread alone but by every word huh? many of dignitaries that we talk about in the government we call them great men and women in the government if you look at many of their lives are messed up their families their children. And many times you only hear after somebody has died, he has another wife somewhere. Have you heard of that? I'm just back there. realized Kalonzo has a son that looks exactly like him. Is it in Kiambu? The face was directly like, just like his face. When you have <laughs> the mother does not know <laughs> First wife does not know that. <laughs> and these people those just appeared. The guys are looking at them. <laughs> when Alonzo Mutua disappeared, the same thing was said. But they only wait for him to die that they suffer. But they were the best people that we talk about leadership and everything. But somewhere something is not working. <laughs> I don't know whether Baba has another one here after if, he's, if it is possible for him to be in the state house whether somebody would service or she services left and there are benefits for wives if somebody becomes a prisoner so we, we don't but what I'm simply saying is they must might have the wisdom to lead people in this other phase of life but to realize the most important things about life so the king might have thought of, and you know, I don't know why drinking is always a way. You must drink if you're successful. Is that like what they are presenting there? But Daniel is big. He has divine light. I'm saying divine light. Wisdom that is beyond human spheres. You know, I don't know how I put it telling this guy, just test us how many days? Ten days. You're going to serve us with vegetables, water. I was asking the other day, do people who, who are so drunk drink water? They, how, how big is their capacity to take water? There's way sometimes taking much of their alcohol will block water to be uh, you know water is more healthy than alcohol. Is that true? Which is more healthy, water or alcohol? If you take which one more, you have better health. <laughs> because Daniel is preferring more water than more alcohol. At least let me get some vegetables somewhere. And, uh, and then look at me. He knows his flesh came from where? From the ground. And his body is 80% water. And these other ones are spoiling themselves. The man says, look on us. God has given him wisdom. Then he says, look at our face. Is there a difference between somebody who is spiritually dull, very carnal, the face of a person spiritually you No. Know, someone who's, who's like messed up, not built on the word of God, like these people. Yeah, they are learning all these things. Many of us have been in university, you might understand what I'm talking about. 
that those who even went for, came from Alliance, from Sunday Boys, whichever school, and then you met them where? In university. Their head is, is so loaded with those information about science. And then they're also so messed up. From Friday evening, drinking begins. And they come back. Huh? On Sunday morning, sorry, on Monday morning, you put your class. You see the impact of the weekend on their face. Those ones who drink, do what and what, all this foolishness. They, and then another person who is serving God. When you come to the class, they call you pastor. Look at their faces, your face and their face. They also see. I remember when I was finishing, many of them admired the life I lived in university. And they're like, I wish we could have been born again. By the end of the, the years we were in university, them that were there, they're good in all those subjects, just like but their life is messed up. So when Daniel is saying, compare our face, does your face tell who you are? To the faces of these other ones. And then the Bible says, after 10 days, they look better than these other ones. You cannot choose to please God and look ugly. I'm saying you cannot choose to please God and look. In fact, you look ugly when you don't please God. Very ugly. It doesn't matter how brown you think you are or how ugly. But since some people, you know, sometimes people, how do people look at you? They're so beautiful. might just be smiling because they were taking photos that you might not know what is behind the scene. There are people who are messed. You know, this mama made a picture on So this guy chose from the beginning. That has to be quality with knowledge or choice. Quality decision that he made. Quality. And he is so much conscious of who of God. So much conscious. I mean, so much conscious. Even in the things that he eats. Even when he is with friends around. Now we are waiting for rapture. You know, we are waiting for rapture. Now that we are waiting for rapture, you also have to be very careful about believers around you. Many are chosen. Many are are called few are even among the believers today you have to be very careful I mean you have to be very careful uh, you have to be very careful Uh, what was I saying? Huh? Yeah. Even among the believers. Because when Jesus appears on the sky, it's not everybody who's in the church that will go. If you listen well to what I was doing in the night on C5M last night. Not everybody will go. Many are there. But few will be and these days we are talking about first flight. Will you be in the first flight? When he appears there, he will disappear. And others will remain here and they will know. I was saying, saying telling people yesterday night. I was saying, some of you don't even believe there's something called rapture. But thank God at least you have heard me say today. Because when we leave, then you know. <laughs> you have left. We are going to speak about the second 
structure and how it will look like. We'll be speaking it on a very serious note every Saturday. They are telling us the rate for this year is rising up. We will also rise up with it in Jesus' name. So, <laughs> we will speak. Uh, we are talking about excellency. We are talking about excellency. So, uh, you realize that when you uh, maintain a very close fellowship with God, when you be very intimate with him, you will also be very excellent. You will be also be very excellent. I repeat, you will be very excellent. You must take pleasure in wisdom, in knowledge, and understanding. If you are saying truly you are serving God and your choices and decisions must tell us whether you are serving God or not. You know, today we have so many people who are ignorant and they are believers. Some of the reasons as to why some excellent people who don't know God more they are excellent but they don't, don't know more about God and faith at least they are excellent in the areas of their work the reason why they reject faith is because of some of us who are living life that doesn't look like the word of God but then we are claiming that we are believers the strength of your salvation I was talking to Pastor Jack Machete yesterday asking a few things about what I want to do in the church. And then he told me, uh, sometimes Papa Lai loses the best praise and worship. This is like last year. He sucked around 25 of them. You know when you go to JCC, you see the level of worship is just far. And some of these people have been trained for years. And then they begin developing some pride somewhere. And he just looks around and he knows. They're not coming from prayers. They're not coming to some very major events that is important to them. Like this year, like last Sunday, they, they, they sucked all, they fired all the people to the church. Because they realized they're not making prayer priority. Over the, the last one year, they observed. They are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are coming down in this spiritual discipline, basic spiritual discipline, which is the main thing that affects the result you get even as a child. And then he was saying, he loses some strong and worship. So he asked him a question, what do you call strong? How do you call somebody who is weak in prayer and the word of God is strong? Then he says, so let me repress it. Let me that and let it. I think that one now can be had. You cannot say somebody is strong spiritually. When he hardly prays, when he hardly reads the word of God, those are weak people. People who don't have ability to pray. They are not strong. Ability to study the word of God. Look at their choices. They are always getting into a ditch. Always. You just determine somebody's strength of salvation by the choice they make concerning different things in life. And I can just watch the choice you make and I know whether you are really strong. And you cannot be far from God and make the best choice in life. It is not possible. Hmm? Some people have accepted to be in the church but then they have decided not to leave by the principles of the word of God. They have decided. But coming to church they will come. And you see it in their choices of life. I'm saying it. You see it in their choices of life. Excellent. Yesterday, the first that I was saying, humility is agreeing with God concerning everything. If areas of life, tell God, let me do this one my way, and the other one, and I will do my way. 
because of many believers are like that. Daniel could not accept that. I mean, could not. Now, what we see in chapter number 6, can we go there? Chapter 6. You know, after now, they have realized that the guy has favor with the king. They planned to fix this man. Let us fix this. It is just here, you see. Because the man is preferred more. Or is the best as far as the king is concerned. They planned against him. Verse 6 says, I think it's good to read also verse 4. Let's go. Then the presidents and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none occasion nor fault. For as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. Look at that. No fault or error. In his work, the man is so perfect. That cannot say he is. Then verse 5 they say, Then this man, then say this man, We shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Then these presidents and princes assembled together to the king and said thus unto him, King Darius, live forever. As the president of the kingdom, the governors and the princes, the counselors and the captains have consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any court or man for 30 days, save thee or king, he shall be cast into the den of violence. Now, O king, establish the decree and sign the, the writing that it might not, not, it might not change, it, that it be not changed according to the law of the meds and passions, which altered not wherefore King Daniel signed the writing and the decree now look at verse 10 now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed he went into his house his windows being opened in his chamber toward Jerusalem he knelt upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he did a fortune how many times? Three times? As he did before. So you can realize why people who don't pray three times are not stronger spiritually in a day. How many times? This result you see that is obtaining didn't appear because he's doing this thing for the first time. It has been his habit all his life. Is it possible to, to stop the habit you began some years back easily because somebody has now introduced another law? You see, as far as Daniel is concerned, yes, conference. Let's not stop about speaking. Let's stop speaking. This man talked to us about speaking. When we had that, by the time the man was done, I realized we can do everything from the spirit of God. We can dominate everything. This guy is far above these people. Even we are told here. Not just in the physical, in the secular work he's doing, but even in the spirit, the man is so far. Even with what they are planning, he has never been one of the things that makes people's look very ugly, people's face look very ugly, is bitterness. If you are bitter about somebody, you will be ugly. Your face will be very ugly. If you see somebody is very angry, you ride in a car. <laughs> a spiritual person <laughs> does not know how to be, be angry. You are ever joyful. You are ever peaceful. If 
You see, what people are doing does not control you. That one has to get you to ask even as you feel it. Your prayer life has to come to a point where it affects the way you respond to us. Even when they are planning evil against you. And you don't even, you know, how can I put this one? I, this one is. Bible says we are seated with Christ in the heavenly. Far above principalities and powers, the Bible says. This man is so far there. And these people are right below there. Even all the things they are planning for him is nothing. He doesn't make any. He does not matter whatever they say. They are not far. Their decisions they are making. Even if they are whole, you see, this is the whole nation. One twenty places. Imagine what the seven governors said. One man. <laughs> it is not something small here. Yeah? But there is power that is part of power. I wish this man was higher than any other power of even the very government of this power. The authority the man has. Now I'm getting to understand. You know, every time I remember this some of these kind of people. We, we, are, we are talking about spirituality. We talk about spirituality. We are told that spiritual man has authority and he commands things. And whatever he says happens. When people are not spiritual, when they've been in church for so many years, even if they speak, nothing happens. They don't have command of situations of whatever happens around them, circumstances. Everything is beating them and they're crying. But a spiritual person, irrespective of whatever people are planning against him, he is still stable. He's, because he's operating from. So if I increase my spirituality and others around me are not increasing their spirituality, I will remain above them. And they cannot do anything about me. But I can do something. So this man raised his level of spirituality so that it didn't matter. How can you be relating with God intimately? The most powerful being on the face of the earth in heaven. And then be moved around by these people who are working together with the devil who is very powerless. Compare God and the devil. There's a way this man was looking at And he says, He went, the Bible says, He went. Where did he get this strength to, to stand against these people? It has to be in this prayer. Praying three times a day. This one hour. Every day. On, in Kesha, we realize when you pray more, you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. In other words, when you began praying, before you began praying, after you finished praying, you are more powerful. The Holy Ghost is more in you than before you began praying. You increase the measure of the spirit of your life. This man, I am trying to show you, look at that spiritual, the excellence in his spiritual life that gave back the excellence of his other work that he does. Chapter number 9 as I finish. The Bible says, in the first year of Darius, the son of Hauserah, of the seed of Ed, which was king Chaldeans, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of years, whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. This, now it was 66 years. At this time, it was 66 years. And then he says, And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek my, my prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. He says, It is now 66 years after they are in exile. He realizes 
time for their liberty from that exile. They are only remaining with five years. He began praying. So this man's life runs by the word of God. What directs his path? Everything about his life and living and the future is the word of God. If we can be, huh? and then another thing common in his life, we are saying it's fast. It's fast. It's fast. And pray so that what is written in the scriptures will come to pass. What do we find? And not praying for himself only. Now pray. This thing comes to an end. He is laboring in prayer for the next five years so that he will cause whatever that has been written to happen. Five years. That tells you that before you begin succeeding spiritually, you must have invested spiritually to something. That's when excellence appears. So now we are going to talk about the education. Father, in Jesus' name, I want a job. And you only go to him with love. You know, I am very sick. I have pain. Heal me. That spiritual power has to be produced over a period of time. So that it comes to a point for now. Anything Daniel didn't have this spiritual discipline. Do you think he will survive the dens of lion? Do you think he will survive? We look. This habit has been there. Praying three times every day. Studying the Bible is of a period of time. Until all his intellect that is saturated by the word of God so that all the decisions he makes, it's in line with what God says. And some of us hear the word of God once, and the whole week you are listening to something else. And you want to be sober and sound? It is not possible. The strength of your spiritual disciplines determines the level of your success in life. And the level of also your excellence in everything that you you cannot be excellent outside God. And we must choose to excel in our spiritual disciplines this year more than anything else. Your prayer habit or your prayer life should be more stronger this year. Your ability to take in the word of God has to be more stronger this year. Your ability to fast and pray must be stronger. Amen. This year. Then by the end of the day, you will have the result that you are talking about. Even, you see, this is what I am feeling. Like, whenever I want to speak this year, I think we are finishing. Somebody can work on that. Uh, Whenever I am speaking, studying here, every time what I feel is irrespective of what you are doing, whether you are working out there, whether you are a teacher, whether you are a God one, uh, whether you are a business person, you must like very spiritual. We have to exercise dominion from the spirit of, from from the the realm of the spirit. You have to stronger there so that when you enter a town and a business person you can take over that area amen you see just like I am when I come here and I declare a lot of things and you take over the area even you when you go in your office you can take charge of that event amen yeah I think that is 
all for now. Amen. Father, we bless your holy name. Mate kapasa tola raba shetele bikele bosi bikoni. Monto poso tolo bodi moshere bikna. 